Hey guys, what is going on? It is Bingsy here and welcome back to Sansone's Squads and as you can see guys the rules are on screen now. If you are new to this series I'd recommend you go and check out the previous episodes because it wouldn't make sense jumping in. Uh, what is it? Episode 8 now. But as you can see if Sansone scores we gain 500 coins. Any other goal by any other player will gain us 200 coins. A Sansone hat trick will give us 1000 coins plus the coins that he's gained from all of the goals. So that's like 2500 coins. Um, overall and if Sansone is the man of the match we will also gain 500 coins but anyway let's jump into this episode guys and see who you guys did vote for in the previous episode all right guys so as you can see we are on the Italian team and the two guys you guys did the two players you guys did vote for was Daniele De Rossi and Abate now I do have Abate as an untradeable in my club he was going for 1100 at the time of the episode he's going for like 1.3k now so I did Add that on and take 2.5 thousand um, off of our budget for the Italian team. This is how the Liga team's looking, and this is the team we will be using in the first game. I have put Masonda back in there. I don't know why I didn't use him in the last episode. Very bad decision from me. He could have come up vital. But anyway, the team's looking good. Let's go and get into game number one, guys. All right, guys. So this is the team that we came up against. A very solid BPL team. It's got a, just a really good overall, just strong team. That's the only thing I can really say about it. No superstar players really in there, but just an overall very cheap, very overpowered uh, overpowered BPL team. Maybe not even that cheap, but anyway, we do pick the ball up with Sansone there, and he did have that informed Casper Schmeichel in goal, who was a nemesis to me, guys. He was so good against me. I'm going to have to give him a try. I'm not sure what he's going for at the moment, but if you guys have got a BPL team and you're looking for a goalkeeper, go and pick him up because he was destroying me in this game. He denied me so many good opportunities, and then this guy breaks through, and I don't know what this is you guys can look at that somehow we didn't score from that i don't know how i was actually like physically laughing after that i was like how is that even possible that is an ea aids quote unquote at its finest but anyway casper schmeichel again he just he just doesn't want to let me score today so uh, i was getting a bit worried i was like i need to get a goal early on this guy's got a good team we've still got four what is it four bronze players in our team and then who is that? that's that sansone's goal there fantastic goal i don't know how that went in out of all of the opportunities that we had that was probably one of the worst ones um it gets it through i think that's by his legs there i just i was really happy when we scored that and then into the second half musonda comes up big he passes it into sansone he has a shot he doesn't get the goal carlos payers there gets the rebound and uh two nil up so that's 700 coins just from goals alone this game for the Liga team and we've got we've got quite a hefty amount in the bank already so it's going to be interesting that was actually how the game ended Sansone didn't come away with the Mandela match he did come away with the goal and so did Carlos Vea and uh, yeah that's 700 coins right there and in match coins we actually got quite a bit from this game you'll see we actually ended up getting 621 coins which is a very nice around uh, nice amount for a 2-0 win and uh, that's that's pretty good all goes into the Liga bank anyway we are using the Italian team into the next game and uh, this is the team we came up against. Yet again, another solid BPL team. Renato Sanchez is just, I said that weird, but Renato Sanchez is just chucked in the middle. Don't know why he was there. We missed an absolute sitter with Edda five minutes in. I don't know how we missed that. I think it was my mistake by not going for the low driven shot. But yeah, he, this guy hits the, hits the crossbar there. Luckily for us, we do manage to get rid of this, as you'll see. El Sharawi. Block the pass, but somehow manages to get it away. This guy wins a corner. Uh, we win a corner, I think that is, or something like that, into the second half. Uh, got confused there. And he gets the counter-attack of this. And uh, I was destroying this guy in every aspect of the game. I knew I deserved the win. And then this guy, he just went up the other side of the pitch. I'd actually tried to take him out for a penalty. I was willing to take the red card. It does manage to go 1-0 up, no, uh, up in the 50th. What was that, 52nd minute? Then going into the 57th minute, I don't know how the ref didn't blow the whistle. I actually touched the ball when he had it, so I was expecting him to just blow the whistle, give him the free kick, but Diego Costa goes and puts this guy 2-0 up. And I was quite annoyed at this point, guys. I'm not going to lie. I was like, we really shouldn't be down like, by even one goal at this point. I'm not sure if I showed you guys the... Uh, after stats, but anyway, we do go and get back into the game with Giovinco. Puts another 200 coins into the bank for the Italian team. We only need two more players for it to be a full goal team, a left back and a centre back. But anyway, guys, that is actually how the game ended. Giovinco came away with the man of the match. Antone, it didn't get a goal. He did get an assist, but we don't get anything for an assist. So we do get 200 coins from the Giovinco goal. And we ended up coming away with 434 coins as well. But anyway, the two players, what we can go for... 
for the Italian team are on screen now. Now, I've mixed it up a little bit. Everyone in that team's Italian. Now, we can fit Vangioni in at left back if we get like a Serie A Italian centre back. So, we can still keep, what's his name, Ogbonna on full camp. So, we can get a decent left back instead of going for a nominee Italian. I would love to get Vangioni in there. His going rate at the minute is 1,600. Tonelli, I feel, is just going to be unnecessary for the team. Probably the cheapest, really good centre back, which is uh, Italian. And he's going for a thousand coins, 82 defending, 77 physical. I think as soon as we've got this first gold team built, we can start like saving up the big bucks to try and get maybe like a Barzagli or a Buffon or something like that. I'm going to mix this series up once we've got a full gold team. Don't you guys worry. I'm going to try and add like a few aspects to the series where we can get bigger name players and stuff like that. But anyway, speaking of bigger name players, number two is for the La Liga team and we get Turan or Ca well, and Casemiro. We can afford Turan. He's going for 2,000 coins at the minute. I'm going to go and buy him while he's cheap just in case EA release a squad builder challenge and just ruin that for us. I want him in the team. I'm not going to lie, guys. He is a fantastic player and he'll be an 84 rated. We have got Laporte in that team as well. And Casemiro, he just looks like a beast. I've used him before. I've got him as an untradeable in my club. I'd love to get him in there. We do need someone defensive minded if we are going to have to run and uh, far who's in there he's also got a man of the match card that'd be interesting to see if we can ever get him into that man of the match far into the series because he's been so good for us but anyway there are your guys two options choice one is for Vangioni and Tonelli so if you want me to go with those two in the next episode make sure you put a one or just put their names in the comment section if you want me to go with Taran and Casemiro put a two in the comments or put Taran and Casemiro um, but it's all up to you guys. That's the beauty of this series. I give you guys the options and you guys can vote on it. But anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, make sure you drop a like on the video. If you have any video suggestions, anything at all, or anything for this series, that would be interesting as well. Please let me know of that in the comments down below. And as always, guys, make sure you all have an absolutely incredible day. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and peace.